Hi, my name is Chris Cunningham, and today we're going to learn how to sharpen the chisel. Now, there's a lot of ways to sharpen your tools, and everybody's got a different method. This is just mine. So, you know, if, if you have a different stone you like, or you like a leather strop, which I haven't used yet, um, there's plenty of different ways to do it. So, by no means is this the only way. This just is my way. Uh, if you saw my Instagram, the sharp chisel, you saw the video where it cut through that walnut real nice and smooth. That's what I was aiming for. I could obviously go a little bit further, but this is kind of where I've ended up. You know, I'm gradually getting better, so this is where I'm at right now. So uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, just feel free to leave it in the comments or even hit me up on Instagram and let me know there too. Um, you know, try not to be too mean. <laughs> so, uh, but by all means, uh, let me know what you think of my video and uh, let's get to it. First thing you're gonna need is water. And this is for lubricating the wet stones and the diamond stones. Next thing you're gonna need is the stones themselves. We have a diamond 300 and 1,000 combo stone, and then we have the wet stones by Norton 4,000 and 8,000 combo. Uh, the 300 diamond is to flatten the uh, wet stones. Next thing you're gonna need is the honing guide and the angle guide. So these are both made by Veritas. You don't have to step up to them, but if you want very consistent angles on your chisels every time, you need some kind of system. And these two paired together uh, make a great combination. Last thing you need, chisel itself. This is the uh, Stanley Bailey. This is the uh, three quarter inch. This is the one I started with. So uh, you can see, got a good uh, reflection there. This is what we're aiming for. This is what we're gonna do today. And first thing you're gonna notice is right from the factory, see all the ridges and uh, it's just not, I mean, if I just set my thumb right on it, you shouldn't be able to do that. They should be sharper than that. Got a lot of imperfection on that back side, and we'll address that before we address the bevel side, which has its own issues. But uh, I mean, just so you know, you shouldn't be able to do that with a, uh, a chisel. You should be able to run your fingers across it that easily without getting cut. And I'm not so I won't be doing that here in a little while so um, first things first we are going to flatten the back side uh, I'll start at uh, 300 which you can see there um, flip it it'll be a thousand then I have a uh, 4,000 to 8,000 whetstone um, so uh, let's uh, give this a try so we'll wet down the stone and uh, we'll start uh, smoothing down the back and as soon as we get rid of some of these ridges we'll flip it and start working up the uh, grits and get that mirror finish um, that should be there. And what that essentially is gonna do is gonna make it to where all the little microscopic imperfections, they won't really transfer from this side to the other. So, cause you can get this as smooth as you want, but if these little imperfections are coming through, you're only gonna be as smooth as this back side is. So uh, maybe a little harder to explain, um, but uh, I mean, I guess if I, if I drew it out, it might be a little easier. So, um, so here we go. So we're gonna start off, we got a little bit of a spray bottle here. Uh, just wet down the stone a little bit. Doesn't need much. So we're gonna start off, we're going to run this back and forth. And we're gonna do this, oh, a few thousand times. So let me get this to fast forward. As you can see, we're already starting to flatten on the two ends. There's obviously a belly in the steel itself. So you can see I'm flattening it all the way back to here. So um, as we move up, uh, we should see that removed, hopefully very soon. And then uh, once we kind of get this even uh, uh, surface, then we'll switch up to the thousand and go from there. So uh, I'll speed this back up. Now you can see it's, uh, you know, not smooth, um, but you can see where I started down here and it's nice and even. And that's what you want. And so now it's time to step up and that's a simple, obviously be very careful with your uh, chisel, don't slam it down. And go ahead, flip over the stone. 
wet it down and we're gonna start that process over again with the next grit. So let's speed this up. Now, as you can see, we're starting to get some of those marks out. So it's a little more even. I'm probably gonna hit that just a little bit more, but we are just about ready to move up to the next stone. So let's go ahead and get back to it and uh, we'll speed this up. So that's, that's better. I think that's about what we're gonna get out of a thousand grit. So uh, let me uh, clean this off, clean up my station here a little bit. Uh, obviously it creates quite a mess. Um, that's why I put this extra board down. Of course, there's still a mess back in here from where I set my stones to the side. <laughs> so you gotta be careful of that, but this will make a little bit of a mess. So I hope you don't love your nice clean bench. Um, that or do the smart thing and you know put down a piece of plywood or something else that protects your bench. Me, um, the more it's abused, the better it gets, I guess. So uh, it's a bench, it's a tool. It's supposed to get a little bit of abuse. So, and I can just sand it down later if I, uh, if I really hate it. So uh, let me get my mess cleaned up and I'll switch to the uh, next set of stones. Now we're ready with the next stone. A um, couple things though, before we get started on this next stone, that 300 grit diamond stone, running your finger across it with calluses, you may not feel it, but it actually wore a hole in my finger. And uh, I checked it a couple times on the video. You may not be able to see that because I did it pretty quickly, um, but I did see little drops of uh, blood on there, which is not good. So antibacterial and uh, some unicorn band-aids that I stole from my kid and we're good to go. So let's get back to it. So first thing you wanna do, uh, you wanna wet off, uh, wet down your stone here and we're gonna start with the 4,000 and flip to the eight. So the 4,000 is the white, but before you get started, you need to take that same brutal 300 um, and you wanna take it across the top of this. Try to keep it from sliding on you. So this just gets it really good and flat, um, good reference surface. So uh, let's go through, re-wet it down and uh, I kind of index with my finger where I've uh, stopped and started. That way I'm not wasting a bunch. And you know, I, I am overdoing this. You don't have to go, you know, two inches in, um, but I'm going to just so I get, you know, a lot more finish, good for the video. Um, but you don't need to go very far because it's not very likely in your lifetime you're gonna grind down, you know, even, this far into your steel. Um, you know, these, these chisels, if you buy a good set of chisels, they're gonna outlive you. So, um, you know, don't go that far. Let it be the next guy's problem, your great grandkid. So, um, all right, let's get to it. I'm gonna speed this back up again, uh, but it's the same process. So as you can see, we're already starting to get a little shinier so you can see my lights above um you know if i aim to right you probably see my phone that this is that's taking the video so but that's not a mirror uh that's not not good enough yet so let's as you can see we are starting to get a little shinier surface there we go it's kind of hard to get in the right light there uh you know it's a little uneven so it might actually be where my fingers are setting um so i'm gonna go ahead and keep going with this for just a little bit longer uh and then we'll be ready to switch up to 8000. just about there look you can see uh that's my shirt. <laughs> uh, somebody tell me if you can read what that says. It might be, it might be Star Wars related. So hope you're a fan. <laughs> uh, but 
we are not there yet. So, there we go. There's the start of the show right there. That's me. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, let me uh, turn this off and we'll switch over uh, and get the next grit ready. Clean off the other stone and now we're up to the 8,000 grit. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing. Spray a little bit of water, come back through with our diamond stone and uh, kind of go back and forth a little bit on that. This is just to flatten it out again so that when you're flattening your blade to this, uh, it's not gonna dig in or anything. And by the way, this can get very sticky because you're dealing with two wet, very flat surfaces. So try to keep your stuff clean. We'll go back through. Went down the stone real good. And uh, this will be, again, same process. We're gonna go back and forth quite a few times. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. You can see we're still moving up. And I try moving it, you know, from going straight back and forth to an angle. And that kind of helps it from getting any kind of a, a permanent mark in it. Helps kind of keep everything nice and even. Um, also helps keep the stone from getting a wear spot in it. So if you're kind of going back and forth and then you kind of hit it aside, you know, if there was any spot that this is grabbing into, you hope that you even it out. Of course, we're gonna be going back through every time with the diamond stone anyway, but it's just good practice. All right, we're starting to get somewhere now. So, again, you can see, uh, here we go, here's a good indicator. We'll take uh, my uh, unicorns, and if you can see the imprint there, yeah, we're getting to a mirror, mirror finish. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, um, but uh, we're gonna keep on smoothing down and we'll see how good we can get this. But, I mean, you see tiny imperfections, and I think if you wanted to go any closer uh, to a mirror finish than that, you know, you're, you're talking you know, well above 8,000 grit, you know, I've seen, uh, you know, double that uh, easily. So, uh, but yeah, let's uh, give it a few more and uh, we'll start to finish up. Now, I think I could go for quite a bit longer um, working on that, but, uh, you know, I don't think I'm gonna get glass smooth out of an 8,000 grit. I could probably get pretty close. So I could go a little bit further. Um, but let me, uh, let me grab one of the other chisels here that I have not touched. Um, let's see. I've got some that I've hit a little bit. Um, but you can see, you know, this was done with a lot lesser stone. It was just to get that edge, and this is before I bought my new stones. And then there's the new. So you have the fairly even, and then the uh, not even at all. So there you have it. So now from here, clean up, start over, and we'll get my honing guide set up for this end here. Um, and uh, we'll start sharpening that side. But honestly, as it sits, I could put a micro bevel on this and I would be good to go. I would not need to address this entire bevel. In fact, there are some guys that don't, they just hit the secondary and tertiary, tertiary bevel and they don't touch it again. Um, you know, I think, uh, just for longevity and saving myself some trouble down the road, um, I'll go ahead and hit the whole thing, get it all the way across and then hit my secondary tertiary bevel. And, uh, then this thing, <laughs> this will be, uh, this will be ready to roll. So 
there again, there's your, uh, there's a reflection. First things first, uh, I have my Lee Valley honing guide and uh, you get it set on this deal here. This is to help you find your right angle. Set the bevel right inside there. And uh, actually it looks like we're off a hair. You can see some light through there. So we'll uh, go ahead and Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's have a little light there, but let's see. Uh, I mean, that's 25, not necessarily from the factory, but I think as long as we get it in the ballpark, I'm gonna be happy. So make sure you're nice and tight on there. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the camera turned around and we'll get started on the uh, first stone. Now, just like we started out when we flattened the backside of this, we're gonna start at 300. You don't necessarily have to do that, uh, but to make sure that this bevel is all exactly right, and I'm just gonna go through the whole process, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Um, you know, like I said before, you don't have to do the entire bevel with the backside flattened off like it is. You could pretty much put a micro bevel on the edge and get to work. Um, but you know, you'll you'll eventually have to resharpen. You'll eventually have to flatten more of that. Uh, that bevel so you might as well just do it now and uh, then the next time you just put a little bit more of your micro bevel on and you're right back to work so it just saves you more work later on so basically what I'm gonna do here and some guys will do this with a marker they uh, they run a marker across the end of this kind of see where they're at once they run it through a couple times and then see if they need to adjust their honing guide um, but I got it pretty much where I want it and I, uh, I should be able to see by seeing grinding marks on this if I'm close enough so let's go ahead and get to it All right, so as you can see, I'm hit right at the end, which is really what you wanna be. So if it was taking off just the back end and going slow at it, it means you're eating a lot off the top. So you wanna be eating right off the end there. Um, you know, and as this sits, uh, that's uh, that's gonna be pretty sharp. So we can hit it with the, uh, with the unicorns. Don't wanna start hitting that with your finger unless you're very, very careful, you're paying attention, or you know, if you have calluses, bigger than mine. So, um, all right, let's keep going. Okay, almost made a big mistake. One thing you gotta do on the Veritas uh, honing guide is you need to make sure that this is indexed straight up. From the last time I used it, I had it on the third bevel. So basically we're gonna get it started with a line up. Once we run through uh, all the grits that we want, so when we, we decide to put a micro bevel on, then we'll click it that way. Get your micro bevel on, then your tertiary you'll go straight down with it. So I need to realign my jig, get it pointed up. We're back in business. So uh, let's get back to it. So what I'm doing right now is when I changed the uh, gauge, it was not exactly perfect. So you see that edge right there? I had that and it was just a hair off. So that's what I'm working to get rid of. Otherwise, we're ready to go. So I just got a few more runs through and um, we'll be good to go. All right, well, there you go. You can see I put in the light and it's all the same, all nice and even. So we are ready to move up to a thousand. So let's get the stones flipped over. Um, be very careful sitting down your uh, your chisel there. You do not want that to fall and hit the concrete. Not now. So uh, let's go ahead, wet down the thousand side, and we're gonna do the same thing over again. Okay. 
So, uh, and in case you're wondering, every time I go through and I pick it up and I check it, I'm counting to 20 seconds. Um, you probably don't need to go that far, um, but that's what I've chosen to do. Now, when I go to the higher grids, it'll be more like 10. Um, and then obviously you can see we're uh, taking quite a burr off there, but um, we, we are getting pretty slick right now. So, uh, time to move up to the whetstones. So let me switch those out and uh, we'll continue on. And just like before, when we flattened the back edge, we're gonna go through and uh, we're going to flatten this. And uh, I mean, you can, you can see it is eating into it. And um, this is important now um, but it is way more important to do this after you've ran something small like a chisel through it because we're essentially going to sharpen and we're going to wear out the millstone. I'm going to go as best I can to the edges, but I am not going to run my <laughs> risk running this off and hurting that edge. So I'll be staying towards the middle two thirds, maybe a little further. Um, so that flattening of the stone is super important, uh, to the whole process, but especially after doing this. So, uh, let's, uh, get started. As you can see, I did two 10 second runs there and it's a uh, pretty uniform. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the back of this, get rid of that burr, clean off my stone flip it over and go to 8,000. So uh, we'll real quickly just, uh, of course, uh, with this on the back, I kind of need to go off to the side. That's all you need. It's not much. All right. Wet it down. All right, we are ready. Just a few rounds of that, and uh, I mean, you can see we're even shinier than we were with the back edge. I mean, look at that. I am very proud that I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt today because I'm, I'm advertising for them. Pretty amazing. And we're not even to the sharpest spot. Right now, you could take this and you could do just fine, um, but we're gonna go a step further and we're gonna put on a secondary and um, I'll see what I feel like. I might put on the tertiary, the third bevel, um, but you do just like that. And uh, you'll see, as soon as I put it to the stone, it, uh, it will grab into it and you will feel that it's a completely new bevel. Uh, but you're gonna wanna be very careful with this, go nice and light, and we're gonna do probably a five second count and uh, see where we're at. You do not want to have like a big, you know, huge, edge on that it's a micro bevel so um you know i'll go ahead and leave this uh full time you want to keep uh, good pressure both fingers one two three four five five and a half so you can see it's kind of hard to see i get one of those lights to go across it Let's go a few more. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Get a little more pressure on the uh, right side, or the left side, sorry. Uh, 
Okay, now there we go. That's a cool looking shot right there. So there is your secondary bevel. So on top of having a near mirror finish, looks like it's on fire. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. So from here, I'm gonna even out that bevel just a little bit because it's a little heavier on one side than the other. There we go, that's a little bit better. There you go. And um, you know, I think I'm gonna stop right there. I don't think I'm gonna put the uh, third bevel on it. I think that's gonna be plenty sharp enough. So I think we need to uh, put this to a test. So uh, let me put everything away, clean it up, reposition the camera, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how this does. So, uh, oh, before I stop though, I am going to uh, take this to the 8,000 on the back side, and uh, we are gonna knock that burr off very carefully take it out of your honing jig and you want to take this set it down on the, the the back here and then you want to lower it into it so just uh lean it back off and there you have it yeah like that a little bit of water off there. You got that, and then an even shinier. There we go. Pretty nice. All right, let's get it all cleaned up and let's test it out. So uh, here is a uh, piece of walnut that I have, uh, you know, it's just a piece of scrap uh, and I've been kind of testing out chisels on it, obviously. And uh, so now we're gonna take the one we just worked so hard on and uh, we'll see how it does. So we'll just kind of pair a little bit. And grain's gonna be one of your toughest to, uh, to cut. So we're just gonna go ahead and real lightly take a pass at this. One hand. Uh, that's uh, comically sharp. So let's go ahead and stop there. And let's see if we can't get a little bit closer shot of what I've done. So. That was uh, pretty effortless. So you can see the marks from the chisels before and then you see the marks from the one I just sharpened, and it is not fuzzy. Um, you're seeing as crisp of a cut as it gets. And, uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of work. But there's nothing nicer than going over to your tool cabinet and grabbing a tool and knowing that it is just sharp and ready. All right, so there you go. That's how I sharpen my chisels. So if you have any uh, comments or questions, uh, leave them below. Um, you know, or uh, check out my Instagram page or uh, subscribe to my page here. Um, next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be showing how I uh, sharpen a card scraper. So I uh, got a little jig that holds it in my vise for me and uh, I'll go through the process of that. So hope to see you on the next one, thanks. If you want to try sharpening your chisels the same way I just did, I'll leave all the links below uh, to all the same uh, gear that I used.